Hi there. Today our destination was On Away State Park, uh, which is weird because usually we just pass here on our way to somewhere else. But today we're here for rocks. Oh, stop. That was funny. <laughs> we're here for rocks on the beach, which I don't know if there's good rocks, but this is Black Lake behind us. And then we're going to go for a walk on a trail that has some sinkholes. And uh, later on, we're going to go out for pizza and cider at Kanabi's, uh, whatever it's called, Apple Farm? Crunchy Apple Farm. Crun think, Crunchy huh? Apple Farm. Kanabi's. We're going to Kanabi's. Yeah. It's a place they sell apple stuff. So that's the plan. So let's get to it. Here's the lake. Uh, Black Lake's the seventh largest inland lake in Michigan. So it's big. Uh, and I got to say, the rocks look kind of horrible. Looks like just broken limestone, so I don't know if it gets better as we walk down the beach. Uh, somewhere I read, maybe in the comments of one of my videos, that there's a lot of horn coral here. So we'll see. All right, I've spotted my first rock that looks interesting. And we'll see if I can retrieve it it's right there. I don't have my water shoes on. And there's a little Petoskey stone. Doesn't look like real high quality, but we'll see. Maybe I'll take it home and polish it up. I gotta say that I do not have high hopes for this rock. Uh, I hope I'm wrong, but uh, let's turn on the grinder and find out. It looks like I was wrong. Uh, this is not a bad Petoskey stone. It's not the best one I've ever seen, but it's sure not bad at all. So hopefully uh, we find some other stuff that's this good. I got a good one. Oh, Nancy's got something. I have a very nice piece of banded shirt. It's tiny. <laughs> I need a different camera for that one. <laughs> wow. But... Very nice piece. If it yeah, was, if we can ever find it bigger. if we put it in the tumbler. I don't know if we'll <laughs> see it again. All right. Found my first pieces of horn coral for today. This one's a broken one, so you kind of see the inside view a little bit. Otherwise, it's not a very good sample. And then this is a better one, just but kind of more of a whole one. So I guess what I heard was accurate. Yep. to snag this Petoskey stone. Nice pattern, not the polishing type. We'll leave this one here, but, but then I also just noticed something else down here. If I can figure out where I saw it. You can see a lot of just kind of boring, blocky, yucky limestone. And we're also pretty close to the boat launch, so anything good's been pretty probably picked over. But if you can tell here, but there's actually a horn coral here on this side, and then another one here. And probably another one there. So nice little grouping of horn corals. But it's kind of hard to tell because the rest of the rock around it, the limestone, kind of obscures it. So still pretty cool. Just kind of glance, glancing around on the dry land a little bit because the water rocks are a little on the scummy side. And I found this nice horn coral. And then I walk down to the water to get it wet, so maybe it'd show up a little bit better, but kind of in the shade here, so it's not the best. But as you can tell by looking at the water, the rocks definitely kind of all have a little coating on it. There's a Petoskey right in there, which I'm not going to bother to dig out because it doesn't look great. But So I think it's going to be pretty much dry land searching for me. There's a bigger piece of Petoskey. 
Uh, it's very porous, so that's not going to be any good for polishing, but you can see the, the coral pretty well. This the other side doesn't have anything to look at. So it's big. That's what I can say for that one. Found a few more not so awesome Petoskey stones, but just to show that there are some here, there's that one. This one actually was kind of cool. I don't know whether all the details are showing up. Another little one, uh, get rid of that. That one you can kind of see the eyes, but they're all filled, so. None of these are keepers. There's a horn coral part that's also not great and not a keeper, so. <laughs> well, what do you say we go check out the sinkholes? Let's do that. Instead of this beach, not maybe real we'll impressed. Find, maybe we'll find something on the way back that we missed. Maybe. Just noticed up here, somebody's put a whole bunch of Petoskey stones. Gotta get them wet to see them a little better. Yeah, that doesn't really help. But I think they're all Petoskey stones. So I'm wondering, did they find better ones that they took with them and left the bad ones behind, or is this all they found? Here's another little Petoskey stone that isn't great or anything, but it should be easier to polish than the other ones. I think I have two other little ones in my bucket. So I'll take that one home just, just as a test to see if these are any good. You can see all this is a broken part of a f coral. You can see this is kind of more the base area where it grew up and then that part's all kind of broken off, but it's kind of neat still. And I just found, it's like a, maybe Favocites in there coral and then uh, horn coral right here. That one's kind of interesting. I like that one. Well, let's see how this one does. Should be interesting. I think I might have misjudged this beach. Look at that. Horn coral right there. Wraps around the corner. And then this is all Favocites or Charlevoix stone. Isn't that awesome? It's got a really good shine on it too. Oh, well, we've made it to the sinkhole pathway. Uh, this is not right by the campground. I thought it was, but it's, it's like 14 miles away. So anyhow, we're here now. Uh, haven't seen a sinkhole yet, although there is a big valley to the right that might be a sinkhole. It's just not a good viewing area right here. Alrighty, we've made it to the first sinkhole, which is the one we saw right from near the parking lot. There's some steps that go down. What do you think, Nancy? Those are steps, I agree. <laughs> I think we're just going to view it from above. Oh, that what you meant. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine up here. This first sinkhole is the biggest of the five sinkholes along here, and the bottom of it is 100 feet below the surface of Shupak Lake, which is right nearby. Well, here we are at sinkhole number two. The trail here is through a jack pine forest, and it's not a big trail, which is kind of nice. I like them a little smaller. It's not the kind of place where you're going to see a ton of people. I just love this light green lichen that grows in places like this. Just cool looking stuff. There's usually moss mixed in with it, like here. Makes me happy for some reason. Sometimes it's hard to tell if you're looking at the same sinkhole from a different side or not, but I think this is a new one. This is three or four. There's supposed to be five all together. So to give a little background on why the sinkholes are here, this is limestone bedrock area. It's an area we call karst topography, K-A-R-S-T. And uh, the limestone bedrock dissolves when water runs through it or over it. And so over time, uh, basically water running through the limestone created some cave systems that collapsed. And ta-da, you have a sinkhole. 
We started out down here and now we're up here, so we're about halfway around the path. Uh, hasn't been too strenuous or anything, uh, no big hills or anything like that. Just a, a nice walk in the woods. I just got done saying there's no big hills and immediately started up a fairly long hill. It's not real steep, but it goes and goes and goes and goes. The first half of the trail was all jack pines and it's completely changed to hardwoods up here now. Prettier in my opinion. Just walking on the other side of the same sinkholes. So there's one right there, a lot of trees in the way, but I don't know if you'll get any sense for how steep that is. I could definitely go down there, but it'd be a long walk back up. It's pretty steep. There's two or maybe three different kinds of mushrooms right here. There's that one. And then the agate mushroom. That's really pretty. And over here, this might be the same as the other one. I think it is. It's just more ripe. Bigger yellow version. You worked up an appetite? I have, definitely. We've made it to Kanabi, so we're going in for some pizza and cider. Should be fun. Well, did you get enough to eat? More than enough. <laughs> and I didn't have dessert like you did. Yeah, I didn't film that part, but I had some apple crisp with ice cream and caramel. Nancy said I didn't need the caramel, but why wouldn't you put caramel if you had the chance to put okay, caramel Okay, maybe on I it? had two bites of his ice cream. It was very good. Anyhow, if you're ever in this area, uh, you should check out, well, Akiak Falls is near here, but even more fun than that is Akiak Underground, where there's a river that goes underground for a little bit. So I have a video of that, so check that out, and I'll see you over there.